Afternoon, everybody. We're still at Tintagel. That's our neighbours. We're staying in the oven all, just have a bit of a chill. Carl's been out and flying the drone. Early-ish, before it got really busy. So, that will be on in a minute. Carl's not happy because I've nicked his chair. But he can have it back now. What are you doing now? Drawing a power sponge. Oh, okay. Uh, bamboo sponge. It's not bamboo actually, it's coconut fibre. Okay, our coconut fibre sponge. Yeah, it's not a sponge either. Coconut fibre scraper. <laughs> <laughs> it's for washing up. Yes. Yeah. Environmentally friendly. That's us, awesome, innit? Yeah, quite good. Right, we are trying to get out our Mr. D's again. Vegetable curry. So we're going to boil it again for 10 minutes and then we'll serve it later, let you know. Oh, right, just waiting for it to start boiling, which I think it's just starting to do. Then I'll take the lid off. Even this isn't done how I normally do it because normally I cook the onion and the tomatoes and the carrots and blitz it all as a mega thick curry sauce and then cook the veg and chuck them in so I'll roast the potatoes and I'll roast the cauliflower and throw it all in but yeah, it ain't gonna be like that apart from the cauliflower smelling like farts <laughs> hopefully it's all right and it's yep. we shall see we shall see we shall see let's check if the potatoes are done Racket. No one done that actually. Up. Oh. I'd say it was done. Better than the last time? Well, yeah. Looks a bit runny. There's a lot of steam come off it, so that's, that's good. Because, well, yeah, it's hot. It's definitely yeah. hot. How long has it been in there? Free. Free. Three and a half hours, and it was proper boiling for a log over 10 minutes, yeah. weren't it? So, I'll dish that up in a minute, okay. turn it off. There's the vegetable curry done. It is a bit runny, unfortunately, because I do normally blitz all the carrots and the onion and the, the, the juicy stuff together. Obviously, you can't do that in there, so it's all had to be cooked. So, less liquid on this one, I think, next time I make it. Nightmare. Well, all trial and error, in it. Afternoon, everybody. We've left light today. We're on our way back up to Exmoor, because we've got to start making our way home. We've got to be on board tomorrow night. Dogs in the vets Friday. And it's my daughter's birthday Friday as well. So we're going to get back for that as well. Thirty-nine. Well, hopefully we will be in the sat nav down centre, so the shooting direction. 
so we are at Appledore Car Park and we have noticed on the bays right by the sea right so we parked over there I was going to try and show you the sign but I'll tell you when I get back in right if you are in a van you are allowed to park over there in the no motor home zone yes but if you have a pop top van yes you are not allowed in the no motor home area right right and how much was it when we stayed here last time I can't remember oh, he's useless it was a five and yeah. a night yeah right 15 pound per night and if you take up two bays, it's fifteen pound per bay. God. No getting your tables and chairs out and stuff like that. Well, so I anyway, reckon, but yeah. yeah. But I, I reckon what's happened is people are parking over there, they're getting the tables and chairs out all over the path. And people can't walk past and moan. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, but he ain't a campsite. He's no, a car park. Not. You shouldn't be doing it. Yes, I know. But yeah, fifteen pound a night. What a bloody joke! You might as well just go to a campsite. Yeah. So we won't be coming here again then, will we now? Great. And I did like it here. I says kicking motorhomes and campers out. Oh, well, no, they're letting you say. They've just tripled the price. Yeah. You know, if they had an some point and stuff, but they haven't. No, no, or water weather should, yeah. Carl's logging this place in his sat-nav. Because he said he would come here again for the pit stop. But we ain't having an outing again. road alert now. This is on the A39. He can't, he's got a car behind him. I can't go anywhere. He's touching the curb and I can't go anywhere. Oh, he's going back. He's got a car behind him now. The car's going to have to move. The go car is moving. And then where are you going to go? May I ask? I don't know. Because there's a car behind us. Well, what can I do? I am not going down there with this. Not with him. I ain't well, we ain't going to get through there because that car needs to go back and then they need to go well, back. Why don't you go around and tell him to move back? Well, you tell him what we're twice as... He is, he's telling them that. We are way bigger than him. Yeah, he's getting them to them. Oh, watch it out, Kirby, it's mate. Oh, what a nice man. Now he's pulling forward. Nightmare. Thank you, mate. <laughs> right, you're all right, Carl. You got room. Yeah, go on, slow. Clear. God, nightmare road, man. I know. And they've waited, look. And people are nasty about BMW drivers. We're back in Exmoor on Countersbury Hill. Windy, rainy, misty. I'll make a cup of tea. Oh, got it enough in one of them days. Oh, yes. Oh, I need to check the mirror after getting it by that coach. Yeah, which you would have seen on the video. We didn't get hit by the coach. It hit the mirror, but yes, the coat caught the mirror. It was quite a big 
stunk when I heard it. Yeah, but we've had worse, yes. definitely. Yes. But yeah, so we're staying here for the night. Hopefully it'll dry up and go a bit nicer. But yeah, hopefully tomorrow we'll go somewhere on the way home and show you somewhere else properly. Oh, we've got a lovely view. <laughs> we're both really fed up today. <laughs> One, because we've got to go home. Yes. Two, we got <sighs> no water. <laughs> yeah, see what happened. I'm fed up. Dog hairs are getting, <laughs> getting on me wick. <laughs> and then, oh, I don't mean it, Lucky Monster. I love you. I just don't love your goddamn hairs. Because it was raining yesterday, we didn't top the water up. And because I've got bloody copyright claims on some of my videos, which one's a load of crap, we were trying to sort that out. So we didn't end up topping up the water, did we? No. And then, because we got to Exmoor last night, after driving for hours and hours, and uh, it, it, was, yeah, and it was raining, so we didn't top the water up then, because Carl forgot the funnel. We're having to use a plastic bottle, and now we're on the 20 litre jerry can, so he needs me to help him. And we didn't want to get wet last night, so we left it. And then I got up and thought, oh, I'll have a shower. Oh, we can't have a shower without getting dressed first, going out, helping him top the water up. Can't be asked. I ain't getting dressed to get undressed again to have a shower, so I forget it. I'll have one tonight when we get back to the West Midlands. See, it ain't all as cracked up as you think it is. Well, what, what can't say it? <laughs> What's the expression? It's hard work being on, on the road. We've yeah. got a pile of washing we've got to do. We did try and do hand washing, but it don't work because we can't dry it. We're not going to stick a, a line outside against trees to tree to tree because it looks a mess. Yeah. So we've got a pile of stuff. So really, we need to find somewhere we can wash it. There is sites that you that have washing machines on them, but not around here, there ain't. Yeah. We know of a few, but not many. Yeah. And that's uh, what we need to do, find sites yes, to do that. Yes, and we need to find all even the garages with the flipping washing machines. Oh, no, I don't want to do that. Oh. You've got to sit out with all smelly diesel vans going past you. Well, enough yes, of that I know life. that. Yeah. Well, true. And then we've got, like, a massive black bag of recycling. Yeah. Because we got rid of it at the new forest, but we've just got loads again. And we ain't found any of No, it's flipping nightmare, man. So, uh, getting to us a bit, ain't it? A bit. Don't know if you can see that on here, because this is only like a little one inch screen. But there's a deer in that field. About 15 of them. Right, the deer are there by the hedgerow. Don't know if you can see them from here. Let's see if we can get closer. A couple down there, but I think they're going to look too tiny. Yeah, you can see them moving. Well, who cares if you can't have a shower? Or you've got recycling. And there's dog ears. When you've got gorgeous views or this, it don't matter. Too beautiful to feel fed up. He's just shoving the stuff back under the bed because we've got to top the water back up with our last two jetty cans. Right, and we are at Dunster Beach in Somerset. It's got a castle up the road and a village. That's car making a row as usual. We're going to walk to Blue Anchor Bay, which is in that direction in a bit. But we're going to have a cup of tea and something to eat first. You pay to park. But there's no overnight in. But it's a nice spot and there's lots of walks. You can walk all the way to Minehead from here, can't you? Yeah. But we're going to go the other way. We are at Dunster Beach. As you can see, it's got lovely views all the way around. And we are on the footpath to Blue Anchor Bay. 
So, I'll show you the walk and we'll show you Blue Anchor when we get there. Off at Blue Anchor now. Does come through the gate, what size? I think it was West Beach Chalets. Look, he's having a drink and then we're going to carry on. Right, so that way is a proper footpath, it's just we cut through because of Nook and his dodgy legs. Cafe there. And there's plenty of parking here, but again, no overnight parking. And there's a cafe there attached to the holiday park. And we're heading to the bottom where the nice bit is. Can't believe how empty and quiet it is. But this will be rammed at the weekend if the sun's shining because it's bank holiday. <laughs> 